So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your ninth WebSockets tutorial in which what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a WebSocket application which would be kind of like uh, a group chat right so people can come in and join your chat room and uh, then the message they type and send would be broadcasted to everybody who's online or who's connected right so let's just make this school application and you might who knows could make it for your school or your college or anything you know your own application own chatting application right so yeah let's just implement this okay so the basic idea on what this app would work is that <clears throat> we just start off by connecting clients and then whenever there's a message we would broadcast it to everybody who's online right so that should be simple to do so what I'm gonna do in the front end there must not be a lot of change we could just actually just make kind of a design or something like a box where the text messages would appear so we could just move this log a bit up and uh, reload this and inside our inspector we can just style this like uh, I'm just doing some random width and height you might want to actually just you know make sure that it fits properly on your device and then I can just give it a border of uh, and border radius This would be our kind of screen where the messages would appear. So let's just make it 300 for now, right? And uh, yeah, that should be it for this one. And I'm just gonna keep it in a single file right now. Not gonna create a lot of mess, right? And uh, then we have, let's just say, divide send controls. And here we go. Send controls. What I can do is I can say that its width is again. I'm just gonna do some real quick CSS. I'm not following best practices. You know, there are better ways to center this, but I'm just gonna do it kind of hackish way so margin 30 pixels auto not that right and there we go so this should at least look good on my screen right so for now if I do something like uh, node index.js and hit enter and reload this send something hit send we get from server send right so right now if I just open some other instance as well we get all that boring text from server and nothing is updating here right so let's just change that a little bit so in my server what I want to do is I want to say that when I receive a message first of all receive send the message to console but the next thing I want to do is I want to broadcast that particular message to every client which is connected to you know my server right so what I want to do is I want to iterate over all the connected clients and uh, the place from where I would get those is this one right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say s dot client clients actually and then a for each loop then we'll just pass in a function and this would just go ahead and accept a client as a data right and I'm gonna say client dot send um, the message right the thing we got from the user okay so let's just 
I guess I should probably install Nodemon. I'll just do that later on. But for now, let's just reload this and see if I reload this one as well. We get... Uh, okay, yeah, I'll just remove that console connected statement. Anyways, if I send ABC here... You see we get ABC here as well now that's cool but what the heck is this from server ABC okay so we can just get rid of this thing now another thing is that <clears throat> what happens is that this ABC is actually coming from server right so it's not that if you have written your message hit send then it's appearing here no it's not so let's just say if your socket goes offline and if you send your this message won't appear here so you know that's not typically what happens in a chat application because your messages are immediately you know you can see them in your chat window or something so what we can do is that inside our index.html we can say that uh, sock.onmessage we can just console log this thing and uh, what we have here log.innerHTML is uh, event.data yeah okay that's fine but what I want to do actually is that uh, sock.send text and I want to move actually just copy this thing right here and uh, say you and then something like that so if I hit reload and make sure I started the server and send like hello send we get you as undefined because this is not even dot data this is text reload hello send you hello but we get hello again so what I want is that <clears throat> I don't want the server to send the same message which I have sent to server to me back again right so what I can do is I can say that if client is actually WebSocket which is my current WebSocket connection right so you see that S contains the list of all the you know clients connected but this WebSocket is particular connection of that particular client right so if client is WebSocket then I want to just continue otherwise this would execute so just save this reload um, okay yeah we are using for each loop what we can do is something like this there we go and uh, reload hello send we get hello and this guy no because it wasn't connected so if I send hi now send you see we get high now that's pretty cool and uh, yeah so that is how pretty much you build an application like if I say hello from the other side and if I hit send we get you hello from the other side here and hello from the other side here now that's cool but uh, we are missing a lot of details here we don't know which message is sent by what person so what we can do is that we can just ask the people their names before sending and then we would store that on the server for that particular session and we could even do something interesting like assigning avatars or you know those little pictures with the people but that would be kind of you know way too much for a simple application so yeah we can just choose some colors for every user and uh, yeah so that is all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial i'm probably going to show you how you can set up some names here so that you can actually identify which person is sending what message
so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one